project number one. Look at this gem I found at the Goodwill store for $2.99. Now, I am thinking this has to be something from the 70s. So, it was obviously a little male miscellaneous little holder. And it's got some little hooks at the bottom, too. But I love this. It is metal, so it's heavy. It really wasn't dented, so I wasn't worried about anything except for the little hooks were a little bit bent up. So I worked on those a little bit with some needle nose pliers and left it like that. So anyhow, um, what I'm going to do is paint it with this sage color chalk paint from Folk Art. And then I'm going to use some transfers from Amazon that are like some farm uh, house animals to put on it. I'm just going to pay uh, respects to what was on there. These chickens and all. I kind of like that. And I figured most of the time I think you put these kind of in your kitchen or near your kitchen or dining room. So I'm going to put some cute little farm animals on it. I'm not sure what brand this was. Um, these um, transfers. But I've got them off of Amazon like I said. And they're great for projects that are flat. If you use them for anything rounded or got texture or anything, they're a little difficult to use. But just flat, they're perfect. Um, so I just want to make sure I got all in the grooves. And I did do one coat on the back of this as well. You're not going to be seeing it if you hang it against the wall, but just in case. And you see I had to pull out some <laughs> smaller craft brushes to get in there and get everything covered good. So I'm going to take my little transfer stick, lay those transfers down. I'm going to take and straighten out the hooks on the bottom because you could hang, I'm thinking maybe your apron from it or something uh, would look cute or maybe even a little tea towel from it would look uh, pretty. Then I'm going to seal it real good because when you use transfers, you do want to seal it. And of course, you want to seal your chalk paint anyhow. Um, and then I am going to use um, some rub and buff in gold leaf. And I did that all around the edges a little bit just to bring back um, a, a little bit of that gold, pay some homage to the gold. And I put a good bit of rub and buff on those little hooks because um, I didn't really want them painted that sage. Um, they were like a metal look um, anyhow. So I just wanted to put those down. But y'all, this made a gorgeous project. You're going to have to let me know how you like this one in the end.
Project number two, I found some paddles at a flea market not far from me. Y'all, this one was about as tall as me. Uh, one, I found three, and one of them I actually had to get my husband to cut off the bottom because it was so worn out. I'm not going to cut this bottom off. I'm just going to use this because I like the look of, you know, you got to have a little bit of warmth. It's not new, obviously, so we're going to leave some of that. I am just going to take um, between my sanding block and my finger sander because I used it some. It's a little bit easier just to get some of that shine off and take any harsh edges off. I, I don't want this splintering or anything, so I'm just going to take that off. Then I'm going to paint it um, front and back with my Dixie Belle and Sea Glass. And this is a beautiful um, color, and I thought it goes good with the... The water nautical theme here so sea glass it was uh, now I'm showing one in the end when I showed the project finish that um, and I didn't show you me me working on that one I, but I painted it a um, nautical blue so um, just just kind of keep with that theme so I'm gonna use um, uh, a Lysol wipe you can use a lot of people use baby wipes you can use paper towel that's just dampened and I'm gonna wet distress I had to put some elbow grease in there but I wanted to bring a little bit of that brown back I don't want a whole lot but just a little bit around the edges and on the um, handle real good then I'm gonna use a stencil um, I can't remember where I picked these stencils up at I, I honestly think maybe Lowe's they had some stencils that I looked up and found but I'm going to use different parts of this stencil because there's a lot going on here. I'm going to use different parts on it. I'm going to use black chalk paint. Then I'm going to come back with some um, Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax in a brown color. And wipe that all over and then use a uh, microfiber cloth to go back and wipe off. So if you know, so you can kind of control it a little bit. Um, a good bit of it's still going to stick, but you can control a little bit of how much you're putting down that way. So I used a brush to put the wax on, and then I come back with that cloth to wipe it down some. And then I'm going to seal everything with a good clear coat and a flat. I, I don't want this shiny or glossy, so I just want to make sure it's flat. Now, if you want the gloss effect, uh, of course, use something in a high gloss but I'm going to use flat now for your clear coats there's all kind of options you can use I use big top a lot of course with uh, chalk paints you can use a wax would be good and I've already put the wax on it but then I, I just wanted to coat it a little more so I'm putting another wax on it a liquid patina uh, is a good um, a good clear coat now I did have to take this to um, I let my husband do the drill the hole in the top because I wanted it to be able to hang. I'm going to put these in my booth, so I'm going to sell these. Uh, we have a lake nearby, so a lot of people like uh, their nautical lake life theme. So um, I'm going to put take in the end when I get through, you're going to see me with some um, nautical rope, the cream color from Dollar Tree. And you can't see real well. It kind of got out of the picture when I was filming. But I'm going to take and split those. I only want the one strand. And I'm going to wrap that near the top around the handle part. And then I'm also going to use that as the hanger for it. But let me know how you like this one. This is going to be a big hit in the booth, I'm telling you. Because the lake people, they love to hang something another up that throws um, back to the the lake life so uh, people are really gonna like this but let me know what you think and let me know which of the two was your favorite um the dark blue one is a little bit shorter it's a, it's a good bit shorter this one was really tall um and of course I, I got a lot of comments as I'm walking around the um flea market with three paddles you know you're never going to be up creek without a paddle but where's your boat you uh -huh. but anyhow let me know which of the two is your favorite one
our third and final project at that same flea market, I found this little, I'm not sure what it was. I, I don't know if it was an old door and they put the mirrors on it. I'm, I'm not sure. You could see it's properly put in here, but anyhow, uh, and I'm going to leave both that wire to hang and also that sawtooth hanger uh, for an option for people to hang it either way. So I, I did not want to clean it up completely. Um, as far as getting all of that paint off i am going to cover it with my white adirondack chalk paint but i'm going to come back with my finger sander and um just kind of buff that out sand that out because i want some of that showing it was just a little too distressed for my liking now some people would like it like this and if that's fine you could absolutely just clear coat it i did take off the hinges and the handle i'm not going to use those hinges they looked a little weird to me uh i am going to use the handle but i'm going to reposition the handle and i'm going to do something with the handle as well um, i don't like that coloring on the handle i did not go back and fill in the holes where i removed the hardware because again i kind of want it looking a little distressed and antique so i'm not going to worry about that I got this beautiful rice paper. It's by Decoupage Queen, and it's called Blue Flight, and it is so pretty, y'all. So I am going to um, put it on that bot on what's going to be the bottom mirror. So what I did was take a clear coat in flat and put that on the glass. Then I'm going to come back with one coat of a white Adirondack chalk paint. Then I'm going to lay my rice paper down with um, my decoupage. Now, my I'm sorry, with my DIY, um, I can't even think what I'm saying here, liquid patina. There you go. So um, let the coat of the clear coat dry real well. Let the coat of the um, your chalk paint dry real well. And then I kind of used my fingernails. Um, I don't really have fingernails. I kind of use my fingers to make, make a pattern along the edges of where I want to cut it. And then I cut a little bit outside those lines just in case I messed up a little bit. Um, and then you c I can clean it up with my um, craft knife like I did. So the way I lay my decoupage paper down, my rice papers down, I do my little starter strip. Don't do it very wide. That way you have a little bit of room you can move with and then do a little bit at the time. So you're going to lay it down on your piece. Then you're going to put your um, decoupage medium. If you wanted to use, um, you know, anything else here, that would be fine. I am drawing a blank today, y'all. Anyhow, if you wanted to use Mod Podge, you could use Mod Podge. Um, I find that the liquid patina with my finer papers doesn't do as many bubbles. So, and I could just use my fingers here to smooth out anything. So then, like I said, I'm going to come back and do a good clear coat over everything. And, um, then I'm doing the rub and buff on my little cabinet, um, my door pull there, repositioned it. And then we have another beautiful piece. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a great week. Until next time, see you guys.